Hello, welcome to the Tea Party Hardy channel. Well, it looks like another person's getting fired for being racially inclusive. Thou shalt not be racially inclusive in today's world. Thou must be racially divisive. Now, we've posted several videos today that are addressing the racial divisiveness coming from politicians in California, from the California education chief wanting even more racial divisions in schools with his racial implicit instruction. It's, he's in the bluest of the blue states. And and the even the library's getting in on it. Anyways, check out those videos. Sacramento Kings announcer Grant Napier out following his racially inclusive All Lives Matter tweet. Yes, you have to be a racist like the county super, uh, the county librarian, and you have to be a racist like the California education director and be racially divisive to keep your job in the current world so that we can keep hating each other because you understand. United we stand, but divided we fall. So let us keep falling. Quick, cue the journey song. Can't stop falling. Don't you? No, just don't. Sacramento Kings play-by-play -play announcer Grant, former Sacramento Kings play-by-play -play announcer Grant Napier, who called games for the NBA team since 1988, resigned Tuesday following comments he made regarding Black Lives Matter movement. I just was listening to an interview from uh, Wall Street Journal on their one of their daily podcasts, and they were talking about how this cop from Minnesota, I don't know which one, I don't know which one, anyways, it was saying that he was in trouble for saying Black Lives Matter is a terrorist group. I'm like, well, they terrorized Mr. Napier, didn't they? So possibly they are. And when groups get on the street and yell, uh, pigs, let's see, what did they say? Pigs in a blanket, fry them like bacon. I don't know. I'm a little confused why saying that they're terrorists isn't at least up for debate. Because they've said some pretty terrorizing things. And they've terrorized him out of a job. Grant Napier has resigned from the Sacramento Kings. The team said, according to Sacramento Bee, we thank him for his contributions to the team and wish him all the best. Oh, God. Does anybody believe this stuff? How helped are we by all of these lies? They don't wish him the best, and he didn't resign. It's just more and more lies. And the fact that he told the truth and says, hey, all lives matter, because maybe they do to him. Sorry they don't to black lives matter. I'm sorry that to black lives matter, all lives don't matter. But you know what? That's your racial division and your racial hang up. Getting people fired because they don't share your point of view. This is an ugly world you've created. No wonder we have riots. On Sunday evening, Napier responded to Twitter to former King star DeMarcus Cousins, who asked him to comment on the Black Lives Matter, but they're not terrorists, but they're allowed to terrorize. Interesting. Movement in the wake of May 25th death of George Floyd within police custody. Hey, how are you? Thought you forgot about me. Haven't heard from you in years. All lives matter. Every single one. He's being inclusive. We don't do inclusive anymore. No, 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 no. The left will get you canned. And they did. The Black Lives Matter movement grew from concerns about police brutality in America, particularly against African Americans and other minorities. Yes, particularly. No, 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 no. Exclusively. Because he just got fired for saying every single one. So don't tell me that it's these other, that it's particular. No, no, no. It's exclusively. And if you speak against it, you will lose your job. That is not a United States mentality. That is a divided states mentality. Its supporters have frequently crit criticized the All Lives Matter reaction, saying it represents an attempt to obscure and invalidate the Black Lives Matter message, or maybe it's the other way around, that your Black Lives Matter message is insulting to everybody else. Did you think of that? That as you run around with your racially divisive language by saying, our Black Lives Matter, yeah, that's racially divisive. You just divided the blacks from everybody else. And when you're inclusive, you get them fired. You're making an ugly, ugly world. 
Meanwhile, Bonneville, Sacramento, operator of Sports Talk Radio, KHTK, announced that it had parted ways with Napier, meaning the popular sports talk show host would be ending as well for being inclusive. For being racially inclusive, he's fired. If he would have been racially divisive, they would have kept him. This is what the left has done to America. If he would have been racially divisive, he'd keep working and everybody would be zippity doo da. But because he was racially inclusive, he got fired. And you want these people to run the country. Are you sure about that? Think about that. What about your friends? Do your friends want these people who fire racially inclusive people? Do your friends berate the people who are racially inclusive? Do they support the racially divisive groups that say, no, 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 this group matters, nobody else? It's an ugly world they've made. We'll see you in the future.